Hey everyone, we're back with a Surface 3 video taking a look at Bioshock Infinite. Wanted to go ahead and run the benchmark. Um, we're going to run it at very low settings. So it's option number eight when you're um, configuring the benchmark uh, or when you're about to run the benchmark. We're going to go ahead and choose custom. So number two, uh, we're going to select 16 by 9 aspect ratio and then 720p um, as far as resolutions are concerned. So let's go ahead and fire it up. All right, so out of the gate, we're running about 30 frames per second. Now we're dipping down to the teens. Uh, the uh, looks like all the clock, the cores on the on the uh, Atom CPU are all uh, running at their full burst speed, which is 2400 megahertz. Um, the GPU is at its full burst as well at 600 megahertz. Um, game isn't heavily threaded on the CPU side. Looks like it's pretty uh, single core optimized, or sorry, dual core optimized, and um, System memory usage is rather low as well at 2200 um, megabytes and GPU is fully maxed out and VRAM is pretty low as well at two, uh, 253 megabytes. Now, um, CP as CPU temperatures start to climb to the 8485C, we'll start to see some thermal throttling. However, I'm just looping this benchmark once. If I was to loop this benchmark multiple times, the score would be progressively get worse as the Cherry Trail SOC um, especially in the Surface 3, does tend to get pretty hot. And when it does, it thermally throttles, kicking all the clock speeds down on the GPU and CPU. So we're here at the end of the benchmark, and let's check out the average frames per second. So we have a 23.75 average frames per second. We have 11.09 minimum and 45.60 as the high. Thanks for checking out.